Howdy, so today we're going to try something new. I'm going to use my phone as my camera and I am inside because it is really cold out there. Um, anyway, first part of this video, I am currently setting up uh, this Dell SC430 as a gateway for a friend. Um, Pentium D, you know what, you can't see the chip so there's the sticker. Pentium D, uh, a gig of server RAM up in there somewhere, off board NIC, on board NIC, uh, 250 gig hard drive. Uh, yes, it's set up with clear OS, and uh, once this catches up, so it's just a gateway. Um, uh, DHCP on the external network because, well, it's attached to my internal network while I set it up. Obviously, I don't have two internet connections, so I've got to set it up. It thinks it's on the internet. It's going through another clear OS gateway, which is my gateway, uh, which is an identically spec machine. That's uh, two gig of RAM. I think I said one. Um, so identically spec, and over here we've got it doing all the updates. Uh, it's all web browser based uh, configuration. Um, slowly getting there with the updates. How's my network looking? Yep, it's just slamming the network, which is what I'd expect, but it's just doing all its. I think I make it brighter. It's doing all its updates as it um, gets ready, and then I'll go through and put on all the packages. I won't go mentioning domain names. I've already had one hacking attempt tonight, which I'll go into in a minute. I don't want a second. Um, basically, they're both running clear OS, both the gateway here and this gateway for my friend, and we're setting it up as a permanent site-to-site -site VPN, so A, I can ditch a whole bunch of port forwards, and B, it just makes things easier when we want to do stuff and, you know, he's 20 kilometers away. So essentially we're setting them up using the internet as a 20 kilometer long piece of blue spaghetti. Anyway, I'm going to take this over to my desktop PC and, yeah, have a little bit of a chat about this evening's hacking attempt, which I did find moderately interesting. Uh, I'll see you over there. Right, so now that I've got my camera working again, unfortunately reliability of my camera on this phone is not very good. Um, it keeps crashing after I do a video. And now I have to remove my SD card and put it back in. Um, anyway, yeah, so this is the real-time network monitor where I first noticed that somebody was trying to get into the network because the red lines that are currently down the bottom were up at around one megabit of bandwidth consumed. It was impressive. I have some configuration on here though that didn't mean it stopped the internet. Um, now, I'm actually not very close to the screen. I have a 46 inch computer screen. I did it for a joke and I actually quite like it so I've left it be. So this is the, the main bandwidth graph. The other gateway that's being set up as installing packages, hence this fairly high peak at times on my network. Um, the other place, so, so to find out what was coming in, um, was it the visualizer? Yes, it was the visualizer. Uh, it just is a fairly basic little summary network traffic. So there's, there's a little bit of traffic coming in, bandwidth 1.4 megabytes a second, that will be the updates. So if we hit uh, detailed, and let it think, and think some more. Yeah, there you go, 45998 source destination port 80, that is the machine over in the corner making a request. Um, yeah, so I get detail reports, which are kind of cool. That tells me you know, my printer talks to the internet. I don't know why my printer talks to the internet, but my printer talks to the internet. Uh, internal IPs and the amount of data transferred by them. It's pretty cool. Um, the reason that my whole network didn't got to crumble into a heap is I have this wonderful bandwidth manager as part of it and I have reserved traffic here 
for internet traffic, which means that whilst the intrusion attempt was slamming my network, all HTTP traffic continued to work because I'd reserved it a minimum of, well, basically all the bandwidth. Um, so what happened was uh, something was trying to brute force my housemate's PC. I had a port for in uh, for remote desktop and they'd gotten in on the remote desktop and were evidently trying to brute force the login to remote desktop on his machine. Uh, I watched it for a little while and I tracked the source IP as being an Amazon EC2 instance so so I let it log for a bit, copied those logs out, made a really big text file of it and then forwarded the whole lot to Amazon and made it their problem. Uh, someone who had an account with them was using it to attempt to break into my network, which didn't thrill me. However, they never succeeded. You need a username and a password to break into a machine, and they had neither. Um, yeah, so that's their bad. They, they probably shouldn't attempt to hit a network which is monitored. I mean, I've also got under gateway, you know, intrusion detection that will detect attempts to break into my network uh, from external. I do check the logs every now and again, so don't try it. It's just not worth it. I will find out. I love my logs. Um, and I just changed my IP in the end. Um, yeah, so I've sent all that to Amazon. Machine not compromised. It's on a new port for now. I assigned it a new port and basically deadified the old port. So yeah, it's uh, good fun, but yes, once I've gotten this other gateway up, there'll be a nice shiny site-to-site -site VPN, and I can close an awful lot of port forwards. I also have VPN access into the network, um, which will allow me to close even more of the ports as I can now come into my network through the VPN. Anyway, um, thanks for watching.